It's a similar storyline, just a different opponent. The Rams are undoubtedly one of the better teams that the Saints have faced this season, but it was another Saints loss where they got close in the end and ran out of time. Welcome back to the dot presented by Matt Bowers Auto Group. I'm Brooke Kirchhofer. The Saints were down 30 to 7 with 12 minutes and 47 seconds left in the game. They cut that deficit to eight points with four minutes to play down 30 to 22. But their efforts for an end of game comeback fell short. I, I do know that our guys continue to fight. Um, it's, you know, can be a little frustrating that that you know, um, you'd like to think you could, you know, do some of those things a little bit earlier in the game. And like I said, we moved the ball at times early in the game. We just, we missed some opportunities and uh, to keep some drives alive. So, um, but look, we, we, uh, we lost on the road to a good team. Um, and now we got to go re regroup and, and get ready for Tampa Bay. Also, at the end of games, like I, you know, Coach Gruden always told me, he said, We're never out of a game. We keep that right arm in it. You know, so I've always just that mentality. You know, you just, as a quarterback, you're like, we're, I, I kept telling our guys, Keep believing. We're going to win. We're going to win. Boom. We'd score. Boom. We'd score. Then you felt the, you felt the belief rise. Um, but we didn't. We just ran out of time. Head coach Dennis Allen knew the challenge. Rams quarterback Matthew Stafford and his slew of talented receivers would present this defense. It would be an eye test Thursday night in prime time. On too many occasions, the Saints failed that eye test, and it even led to Saints cornerback Elante Taylor getting benched in the third quarter. I think they got him a couple times with his eyes, um, and so um, I just felt like it was it was the right move for our team at that point. The type of scheme that they have, um, and the type of players they have, uh, you know, I think every every down is a test, right? They're testing your eyes, they're testing your leverage, they're testing your patience, um, and, and that's what they bank on. You know, they, they run a lot of the same plays, but they're not trying to trick you. They're just waiting on you to mess up, and uh, you know, so they, they they definitely took advantage of you know all the times that we dropped the guy missed the tackle didn't fit a gap um, you know they exposed us in that regard the saints preached being aggressive this week which is why they decided to go for it on two fourth down opportunities on both the saints failed to convert the rams turned the first into a field goal and the second into a touchdown la also capitalized off of a Derek carr interception in the third quarter with a touchdown drive. Now the Saints knew that they were going to have to utilize the passing game to move the chains going up against a stout Rams run defense, but 319 yards through the air was not enough to get the job done in LA. Overall, I thought he played he played um, well. I think there's certainly some some plays that um, you know he and we would probably you know like to have back. Um, I don't know statistically how it, you know, finished finished up. I mean, I thought there was, you know, some plays that he made, and and I thought there was probably a couple of plays in there that I felt like, ah, it wasn't, you know, wasn't where we needed to be. So, um, yeah, I thought he played. I thought he played okay. The Saints' playoff chances now increasingly become slim. The team will get the weekend off to enjoy the holidays, then are back to it to prepare for the Tampa Bay Bucks for a road game and then we'll close out the regular season at home against the Atlanta Falcons. We will continue breaking down the Saints week 16 loss on New Orleans Football live on YouTube Friday morning. We'll see you there.